Satnam. Thank you for joining me today for the Green Opportunity and Energy Set. So it's all about attracting abundance. Being a magnet for abundance comes from the heart center. And green is the color of the heart chakra. I'm just going to read you a little blurb. This set attracts opportunities and opens up the heart center. It allows one to approach prosperity from the heart center, consciousness, or plane of attraction. Law of attraction. Abundance is constantly showering you, and it's really just a matter of removing subconscious blocks. And this is what we're doing with this Kriya. So the consciousness can be summarized as follows. The more I open myself, the more I can attract. I don't need to struggle. I have the ability to attract opportunities. Essentially, the more you relax in the moment and don't place your consciousness in the future and in planning or planning, uh, I shouldn't say worrying, but even like overly planning um, rather than just being in the moment uh, will block abundance. So start realizing that opportunities and prosperity can come in different forms than you have previously imagined. Believe that you deserve, underline deserve, prosperity and that source or God or the universe loves you. So we're just going to start off with spinal flex in rock pose. So you got to sit on your knees and if that if you have any trouble with that you can modify you can just um, sit in easy pose or sit in a chair I know it's so cold out I wanted to do this outside and I now I have to like wear my hoodie because I'm chilly okay so we're gonna start with spinal flex rock pose looks like this hands on the thighs and we're just gonna begin by pushing the chest out and the shoulders back and that is where we go forward and inhale then we round the back and come back and exhale. So chest out, shoulders back, inhale, round the back, exhale. And you keep the head level, looking straight ahead. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Go at your own pace, but make sure you really feel that pull in the heart center. Inhale, exhale. And keep that head level, almost like you're balancing a book on your head. When you're ready, pick up the speed a little bit and pick up the breath. A, a really powerful inhale and powerful exhale. Okay, come to center, spine straight, inhale and hold. Hold. Exhale and relax. Now bring the legs out like this in front of you. We're going to do something called body drops. So watch me. You're going to keep the legs stiff and straight and use your hands. You can either use the palms or make fists and pick up your body off of the ground and drop it. If you can't do that, do this. You're trying to get and start right now. Start right now. You're trying to get that sensation in the tailbone to activate the Kundalini energy. Body drops. Just a few more. Okay, you can relax. Okay, now we're going to, I'm just gonna turn off the music and show you how this goes. It's like a squat. So feet uh, approximately shoulder width apart or maybe wider. Squat like this. 
hands, arms forward and straight, okay? Arms are horizontal, uh, parallel to the ground. You're looking straight forward, pointing like a gun, looking straight at one point, and you're going to be conscious of just letting that bum drop and being in a full squat. It's called crow pose. So you're like a crow pointing straight forward. Now, the breath, the pranayama element is the breath. We're doing a breath of fire. So if you've never done a breath of fire, it might take some practice. The best way I can explain, it's like a dog panting, but through the nose. So like, now you're not really breathing from the chest. You're breathing from the diaphragm. So you're, you're pumping the diaphragm it, um, and the, the pumping of the diaphragm is causing the breath to come out and it almost becomes a rhythmic, almost like a train, like a chick, chick. So we're just gonna get into it. We'll work on breath of fire later. Any questions, comment below. Crow pose, and we're gonna do this for a minute, a minute and a half, I'm not sure. Let's go for it. Really press the teeth into the ground. Stay in the position and inhale, inhale fully and hold at the top, project from the heart, project all the energy out of the heart through the fingers towards the point you're focusing on. Hold, hold the breath. Now cannon fire out, projecting that heart energy, exhale, relax, release slowly and carefully, coming down into easy pose. Just loosen yourself up, wiggle around. How does it feel? Comment below. Okay, so this one's called Lotus Pose. If you're new to Lotus Pose, I'll show you a modification. Okay, so Lotus Pose, you balance on the sit bones. You grab the two piece fingers, you grab the big toe. I'm balancing. I'm straightening the legs like so, and I'm pushing with my feet, I'm pushing on the fingers to kind of give me some leverage. I'm balancing here. I'm looking at one point and breath of fire. Another alternative is hold the knees, hold the arms under the knees or hold the knees like this. But work on that balancing. Try not to let the back round or arch in any way. Just con uh, concentrate on that V shape and keeping the spine straight all the way up to the crown, right from tail to crown okay right from root to crown so we're gonna do that for about a minute and breath of fire ready Hold the shoulders back. Powerful breath of fire. Inhale, hold. Hold the position. Hold the breath. Exhale and relax. Okay, now it's just running in place. So this one, <laughs> just run. Run as fast as you can. 
High step your knees and punch as fast as you can for a minute. Strong punch. High step it. High knees. Okay. You can relax. Okay. Relax, relax. Sit for a minute. I'll explain the next part. It involves some chanting. The chanting is ong so hung. The first sound is ong. O N G. So the N G sound, you're feeling it in the back of your throat and in your conch, your conch. I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, all in your nasal passages. It's like a shell, right? And the vibration turns in the golden spiral in your conch. And as you vibrate that, you're vibrating the upper palate of the mouth and it has all sorts of meridians. So we're saying, Ong, and we're really feeling that vibration. It's kind of nasal. Ong, so, S O, hung. There you have that sound again. So we're going to chant. Um, the pose, the posture. So if you're able to don't have any knee trouble or nothing. If you have knee trouble, maybe just modify and sit differently. That's fine. And we're going to have the left knee. We're sitting on our heels, right? Like rock pose, but we're going to keep the left leg bent. We're going to take the right leg. We're going to cross it over the left leg. Okay. So this is my right foot on top of my left leg. If you can do that, try to show you a little better. There. So I'm sitting like that, sitting up nice and straight, like a good yogi. My heel is kind of like under my bum there, however, whatever's comfortable. I'm cupping my hands, doesn't matter which uh, hand is over top, whatever you feel comfortable with, and just kind of rest them here comfortably. Keep the spine nice and straight, chin slightly tucked. So again, you have that straight spine right from root to crown. Okay, and we're gonna chant we're going to chant Ong So Hung. Here we go. And you should be hearing the sound come from the heart. Hear it at the heart and chant strong from the heart. Oh, Ong is like the sound of the universe. It's like Om, uh, but different. Okay, it's like the sound of the original. It's like the universe. It's everything. It's Ong, infinity. And I will write more details in the description below. Close your eyes and gaze up at the third eye. Oh.
Okay, slowly come out of it and sit comfortably. Get into easy pose, preferably, or you can sit in lotus or half lotus if you prefer. Arms out to the sides. So literally just keeping those elbows straight. Sorry you can't see me that well, but arms are straight. There you go, palms facing the sky. There you go. And concentrate on just having them straight out to the sides. Don't let them go like this. Um, don't let them sag. Keep them nice and parallel to the ground. Keep those palms facing up. And we're gonna start with breath of fire. And we're imagining this. Imagine your left hand receiving energy from the universe. This energy travels down your left arm, across your heart center, down the right arm, because all of this is your heart meridian, right? Our palms are literally connected to our heart. That's why our creativity, like when we paint or we do things with our hands, that's coming straight from the heart. So receive in the left goes up the left arm, across the heart, down the right arm, comes out of the right palm and arches over, directly over you like a rainbow. So it arches, comes out the right palm, arches over you, goes back into the left palm and the cycle restarts. So the whole time that we're holding this posture, that's what you should be visualizing. Now, we're also doing the breath of fire and we should have our eyes closed, gaze up at the third eye. And yeah, there we go. Let's give her. I'm ready? I'll let you know when we're done after a couple minutes and we'll switch to something else. I'll give you instructions. Okay? Breath of fire, eyes closed, third eye. Make sure there's no arch in the spine. Sit up nice and straight. This is the key to abundance. When you're feeling joy, you're a magnet for abundance. It's been proven. It's your best bet. Straighten those arms just a little bit more. Feel it. Feel the fire. Powerful breath. Inhale, hold. Stretch the arms out, hold. Relax. Relax the arms. Next, put the hands behind the neck like so, clasping the fingers together. And we're gonna be bowing to the infinite. So just bow as far as you can go. If you can go down to the ground, great. Looks like this. Join me. Spine perfectly straight. If you only have to go, if you can only go down this far, that's fine, but keep the spine straight. Inhale up, hold, 
hold. Release and relax. Exhale. Okay. Now it's arm, well, it's called arm lifts. You're just still sitting in easy pose. Put your arms out, palms facing down, straight in front of you, parallel to the ground. Now, we're gonna lift them in alternating movements, leaving the bottom one horizontal, right? Leaving the bottom one parallel. One goes up, other one goes up, other one goes up, wait, yes. No, it's like this, it's like this, okay? But don't let the bottom one go any lower than parallel. So it's like the top one goes about 60 degrees. So left, right, left, right. When we lift the left, we exhale. When we lift the right, we inhale. So when the right hand goes up, exhale. I mean, sorry. When the right hand goes up, inhale. Left hand goes up, exhale. Right is up, inhale. Left is up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. All right, here we go. You can do it rather rapidly. And look straight ahead with the eyes open. Now hold the arms straight out and inhale, hold and project from the heart center. Cannon fire out. Release, relax. Okay, now I'm going to tell you all three parts. Um, they're pretty quick. We're just going to do the first one. Well, whatever. A minute to two minutes per thing. Um, it's like a three-parter. So we're sitting in easy pose. The first one is called Shakti pose. Venus lock, which means you're just clasping the hands like that. We're gonna hold it over our crown. You got it? So leave some space there, about six inches-ish. Palms down, that's Shakti pose. Above the crown, Venus lock, that's Venus lock. It's called cosmic connection. Here, we're gonna do breath of fire. So hold that tension, spine nice and straight, breath of fire, out the nose, okay? In and out the nose. Then we, we keep our arms up, but we shift the fingers. Now we put the index fingers up like so, keeping it above the crown, pointing to the sky. Now we'll change the breath to long and deep. I'll tell you, I'll give you a cue. We're gonna do that. Then when I give you the next cue, we change the fingers to a teepee kind of thing. So all the fingertips are together, pointing up to the sky, keeping it above the crown. Then we're gonna switch the breath to breath of fire. I'll give you the cue. Here we go. So start with Shakti pose, Venus lock, breath of fire. Breath of fire. Here we go. Pump that breath. Um, eyes closed, third eye.
In out. Switch the fingers to the TP position and breath of fire. Hold the position and inhale, inhale, pull all the energy up the spine to the crown and out the crown, hold, project out, project the energy out, exhale, release and relax. Okay, the last part is the meditation and it's called the green energy production. Arms at your sides. And if you think about it, like look at the green all around me. It's um, creation. It's creation, right? It's love. So anyway, or it's everything but green, right? You want to get scientific. But green energy is, um, yes, orange is creation, the creative chakra, sure. Um, but all our chakras are creative chakras, right? It comes through the heart. Um, channeling comes through the heart, right? So arms at our sides, just relaxing. Our elbows can just relax at our sides. Keep the shoulders back, no hunching. Sit up nice and straight, palms forward, just like that. We're going to close our eyes and we're gonna chant, Hari, 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 Hud. So it's spelled like H-A-R-I, Hari. So you're rolling the R. You can pronounce it like a D if you need to. Hari, Hari, Hari. Hud. So that's three hudis, one hud. Hari is like um, is like when the flower blooms. It's like the manifestation of everything that's been seed to growing stage to the manifestation of the blossom. That's hari, hari, hari. Then hud is um, it's basically like source, universe, or God. It's hud, hud. It's a seed mantra, and it's just it's the beginning. Um, it's 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 the universe itself. Hud, hari, 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 hud. So we're gonna visualize while we're meditating with our eyes closed and our hands like this. We're gonna visualize green energy, green, 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 chanting from the heart. Um, and when you're sitting up nice and straight, chin slightly tucked, we're gonna feel a slight pull at the navel. So as we chant, we're going to be chanting from the heart, but we're also going to slightly be pumping the navel. Hari, 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 hud. You kind of are pumping that diaphragm as you chant because it's such a, um, that's how it's meant to be chanted, okay? So let's do this for a few minutes. I'll let you know when we're done and we'll finish off with just a little moment of visualization. But I'll let you know when we're done. Okay, here we go. Hari 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 Hari
Project out the crown, project out the heart, visualizing that green energy all around you, showering down on you. Exhale, keeping the eyes closed, let the hands float down to the knees in Gyan Mudra. Index and the index and the thumb touch. Backs of the hands on the knees. Breathing slowly, relaxing. 